All right, folks, thanks for watching this video. In this video, we're going to cover what we call the force max slash PR button. I just call it the force max button. And this also works in conjunction with our APRE functionality. And we'll cover both of those things in this video. So when we talk about force max PR, what we do is, is we go to the exercise database and we want to first cover what we call exercise linking. So exercise linking would mean that we take a max from a exercise and we link it to another exercise. So for instance, snatch grip deadlift. If we want snatch grip deadlift to equal 85% of the uh, barbell deadlift, then we can do that. And if we do that, we just click edit on snatch grip deadlift. And where it says link to another max, what we'll do is, is we'll find the barbell deadlift, which is here. And then we'll go ahead and use a link percentage at 85%. So if my snatch grip deadlift is, you know, hypothetically 100 pounds or 100 kilos, then the snatch grip deadlift is going to be 85 pounds or 85 kilos. It's as simple as that. Now, if we want performance on snatch grip deadlift or a linked exercise to update the parent exercise, we can do that. And we do that using this button called allow maxes from this exercise to update the linked exercise max. So this is an example. What this means is that when I perform snatch grip deadlift, if this produces a new one rep max, then it's actually going to update the parent exercise as well. So that's what that means. So if I hit submit, then we have it. Now let's put this in an APRE context. If we have barbell back squat APRE 10, what this means is that the back squat on APRE 10 should be the 10 rep max of this one RM. And the link percentage for a 10 rep max is actually about 75%. So we're going to go ahead and, and amend that. And notice that this button is checked on. So when we program barbell back squat APRE 10, if they hit 11 reps while we're programming uh, for the 10 rep max, then it's actually going to update the barbell back squat max. Let's take a look at what that looks like. If I go to my calendar, I'm going to pick just any calendar here and add an exercise. And for this example, I'm going to use the back squat APRE 10. So if I do APRE barbell back squat 10, let's just say that I program five sets and I'll customize my reps. Um, I'm not too worried about the first two sets, but let's say the third set is my working set. And what I'll do is, is I'll program 10 reps and then I'll turn percentages on. And then if I program this at 100%, which I do want to do, what happens is, is we take the 1RM for back squat. And since it's a length at 75%, it's actually going to prescribe 75% uh, because I'm choosing the full max of what that sum max is. So if the sum max is 75% of barbell back squat and I want that full sum max program, then I'll do 100% and it should come out to be exactly what their 10 rep max should be according to their 1RM barbell back squat. And then the next thing, and this is the important part, is I need to use this button called Force Max PR Update. And what happens with Force Max PR Update is that it's actually going to create a new max no matter what the performance is on this exercise. So if my athlete does 10 or 11 or 12 reps, um, then the max will go up. Uh, not, actually, if they do 11 or 12 reps, the max will go up. If they do exactly 10 reps, the max will stay the same. And then if they do less, um, then the max will go down. So in this case, I actually want to do AMRAP. And this what should put the athlete, because it's at 100% of their 10 rep max, it should put them at 10 reps. But if they beat it, the max goes up. If they underperform, the max goes down. So that's the point of the force max PR update. Now let's do something else. If I just take barbell back squat, and I, this is my 1RM exercise. If I program three sets of custom reps, and I say five, five, and then as many as possible, and then I put this at 95%, what we'll do is, is if they do their 95% for three reps or more, since that exceeds what the rep max should be, if we do force max PR update, it'll bump it up. If they do less, say they only get a single, or maybe they miss, right? Um, actually, this would be a better example. If we put 90% and they do one or two reps, then they're actually underperforming their rep max. And the force max PR update will actually lower their max. Conversely, if they blow this out of the water for five or six reps, then they're exceeding what their rep max should be according to what their current 1RM is. And the force max PR update button will actually increase their max.